welcome back to my channel. So today I just had the biggest sweet tooth uh, craving ever. So decided to roll around and I found that we have a red ribbon in our area. So what might you ask a red ribbon is? Basically red ribbon is a bakery shop and um, they're very known for like cakes and sweets and now I think they're deciding uh, to put out um, Philippine dishes so I'll definitely go ahead and try that later on but I wasn't really about that right now I just really wanted to try what I like the most um, I've been going there ever since I was a kid in Philippines and um, yeah for sure the best so what we got here is a dozen well not a dozen maybe we got like a few flavors they have I'll show you guys here in a second so we have so a lot of people call them lemon but the typical right term to say this is mamon. So yeah. So we have the mamon ube one here, and we have the also the mocha mamon. This one is a delicacy too. We have the OG mamon, the butter mamon, right? And we have the cheese, cheese, cheesy, cheesy mamon. So let's roll. A few moments later. After a very delicate precision of taking them out of the plastics so that they don't break, I finally managed to put them into this nice little plate. And here they are. So, got our water, got our mocha, our um, butter mamon, we got our ube mamon, and we have our cheesy mamon here. Um, all set, nice and ready for us to eat. We have our fork, fork, knife, oh, I was gonna say spoon, I was gonna say spoon, but we got our fork and we have our knife, um, yeah, let's dig in. So we're gonna try out first the original one, just because um, that's what we uh, usually eat as kids before. Um, I don't think they had many, many flavors before, so yeah, we're going to try that here a little bit, so we get a little piece. Here. It's very spongy, kind of like a sponge cake kind of thing. But make no mistake, this is no sponge. At least I don't think so. So here we are. Mmm, mmm. Like always, for my, from what I remember, it's very soft, very sweet. It's not intoxicating sweet, but it's just enough to just give you that savory feel. And eating one of these. You might think it's like, damn, it's so really small and stuff. But no, like, you eat this, you eat one of these, and you're like, satisfied. Unless you're like super, super hungry and super, super into sweets at that moment. Then you, maybe you can get one or two, two and a half. But yeah, so, butter one, really good. I would give it a eight out of 10 on that deliciousness scale. So let's go ahead and try the mocha mum one. This one's for you coffee lovers slash um, mocha lovers, I suppose. Different thing here. So, sponge again. A little light brownish. Let's roll. Mmm. Now, if I didn't know what it was called, I would definitely like, give it like a coffee flavor type of thing. But it does smell very much like mocha. And of course, the taste too. Um, the aftertaste hits you like mocha. That's pretty good. Love that. Very good. I would say, whew, that would be like a seven and a half. It was close to the butter bun one. But yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and cross country here. And we'll go ahead and hit up that ube mum one. For you curious people what ube is, I guess it's called taro. Uh, and taro, I guess, would be, I don't know if it's sweet yams in English translation, but yeah, I think it is, we'll see. Anyways, let's try this ube mamon here. Hmm. Yup. Yup. Yup, this is the one. <laughs> Love it. This one. I would say this one's like... Hmm. Yeah. I think it's a 7.5 too. Just cause it's quite up there, but it's not as good as the butter mamon. But definitely good though, I really like that. So, we will go ahead and try the cheesy, cheesy mamon now. Right, cheesy mamon is kind of like the butter mamon, but I guess it just has cheese on top. 
And I'm pretty sure I have a sense of like heating these bad boys up, but like honestly you don't have to. But yeah, all right, let's roll. So cheese in the one. Ooh, honestly, with cheese, I think it's better with it. And then imagining it this, imagining it heated up, and then that cheesy stuff is melted on top. Ooh, I would say that's an eight for sure. So I like this one just as much as I like the original one. But maybe I'm just being biased, but you know, the new flavors. I'm not gonna lie, they're good. I won't say they're new flavors because they have them for some time now. But it's just I haven't had any of the new flavors in a long time. So definitely getting that mocha for you coffee lovers or that sense of adventure, I suppose. Um, for the ube as well. For you people who like um, who like your boba's ube flavor or anything ube really. Um, Definitely, this one will be for you. Mm, for the veterans slash sweet lovers, we just want a basic chill ride on that savory goodness scale. I'd say the butter one was good for you. Yeah. And for you, um, a little more ambitious chill adventurers. Definitely try the mamon, the cheesy mamon for you. So, pretty good stuff. I am full, not really. I'm not eating anymore. This is what a few pieces that Red Ribbon has to offer. You guys definitely should try it if you guys have it in your town. But I know they're super, super rare here in America, so I would definitely check it out. But other than that, thanks so much for watching, guys. Definitely gonna dig in some more to this deliciousness. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Oh,